Tonight, a school administrator in the Metro East is charged with criminal sexual assault against a 17-year-old student. Our Laura Barczewski talked with parents and students at Edwardsville High School who are just shocked by this news. Laura. Mike and Ann, parents and students told me tonight they're finding this out on the last day of school. They just can't wrap their minds around assistant principal Aaron Foley being accused of having sex with a student when she was a mentor to many and worked with kids with special needs. Madison County State's Attorney Thomas Haynes said 50 year old Aaron Hamilton Foldy was arrested Tuesday and charged Wednesday with two counts of criminal sexual assault after being accused of having sex with her 17 year old student. Haynes said in a statement, it is a crime when adults in positions of trust, authority and supervision over our youth, let alone their own students, manipulate that power dynamic for sex. Parent Jody Pincus says she's shocked and disappointed. It's scary to know that your children are being sent to school and you feel like they're going to be protected and then this is going on and kids are being preyed on. Obviously, the young student was old enough to make decisions on his own, but still she knew better than to do that with a underage student. Pincus says Foley helped students who had individualized education plans like her daughter, Jaden. She worked very closely with my daughter um, during IEP meetings and everything. I actually ran into her a lot at the grocery store. We'd always speak. She always checked on Jaden to see how she's doing since she's been out of school. So it's kind of a shocker because she was a big mentor and played a big part in my daughter's life. Jaden says as one of Foley's former students, she can't believe it. I was really shocked. I was with my friend. She got a call from her sister and like I was just jaw drop. <laughs> I was so surprised. The school website shows Foley oversaw the junior class and Jaden says she's known her for a long time and was even her school counselor in middle school. It's kind of sad because me and her had a close bond. Me and a couple of the principals and stuff had a close bond over there. It's just really crazy to think that she would do kind of something like that. Pincus says this has heavily affected current students and all of them have lost some trust in the school district. You know, I don't think they would intentionally hire a teacher knowing they have these thoughts and, you know, so I feel like they're doing what they can, but I feel like there's a lot more that should be done. The district issued a statement saying it's aware of the situation is fully cooperating with law enforcement in this investigation.